Hey y'all, what's up? This is gonna be a short video, but I was um, literally just, I was literally just watching a video that was posted about seven, eight hours ago. And apparently the Feast of Trumpets has started, but it's called something else. I can't remember the actual name of it, but, um, and it was a very short video but apparently a a pool of water off of the dead sea has turned blood red and god's and i was praying to god and god's like okay you need to make a video you need to make a video and do it now i'm like okay god I was in the middle of my prayer and I was in the middle of talking to him and I stopped and I said, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I will make a video. Please let me finish my prayer to you. I feel like it's important. And he said, okay, but then you're going to jump on there and you're going to make a video. And I said, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I will. So I have to, I have to be, you know, I said I would do something for the Lord and I'm going to do something for the Lord. So... I feel like God is like, this is urgent, this is urgent, this is urgent. God is like, okay, you ain't got a lot of time. God just sent us another warning. God God put it in my spirit that that is another warning of things to come. Because in, in the book of Revelation, it does say that rivers and oceans and lakes will turn as blood the fish will die the sky will be blackened and half of the um plants and animals will die so guys th this is a warning from god god is putting up like this is a warning this god has like got me amped up here saying come on come on come on we're fixing to go home we're fixing to go home <gasps> i'm so excited we're fixing to go home but it's like urgent come on y'all come on so um let's just we're just gonna go ahead and pray and Gonna try to make this as short a video as I possibly can so I can get up there so I'm not waiting all day for it. Um, good boy. Here. You wanna, you wanna say hello? Hello, guys. How you doing? My name's Boogie Bear. Comes my baby. Sorry, guys. But the little dog boy comes my baby. I raised him from a puppy. Actually, I've had him since birth, so mm, he's my baby. I wouldn't trade you for nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Dog mom here. Um. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. And you guys can repeat after me. You guys can be in agreements with me. But God says we, we need to say this prayer. And, um. I'm so excited. All right. <sighs> need, need to calm down. And let's get into this prayer. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I know I just came to you in prayer, but God, you have put it on my heart and you told me that I needed to jump on here and make a video. And I needed to say another prayer. So, Lord, that is what I'm doing. I am coming to you again in prayer. And I've asked everybody who watches this video to be in agreements with me or to pray their own similar prayer. Lord, I just want to thank you and praise you for all that you have done for me. Lord, thank you for always being there for me. Lord, even when I rejected you, you were there for me. You you kept drawing and pulling me back to you. Thank you, Lord, for never giving up on me. Thank you, Lord, that you have always provided all of my needs on this earth. God, I am ready to go home. And Lord, I ask you, Lord, right now, God, I, gi I give you everything. 
everything, Lord. I give you all that I am and all that I have. But Lord, I ask that all of my worldly possessions that I leave behind, all of your Bibles that I have throughout my home, all of the Bibles I have in my car, Lord, every Bible that I have purchased and given to a family member, Lord, I ask that you will bless them and anoint them. Every word that I have on my wall that is of your word, even my shower curtain, Lord, I ask that you will pour out your anointing upon them, Lord, and bless them. And Lord, that you will keep them safe through tribulation. And Lord, that they will find a way and to get into the hands of the non-believer who have not yet taken his mark and lord that there will be so much power in your word when they read it lord that their eyes and ears will be wide open to hear and wide open to see and lord i just ask you father right now that you will use these bibles and words on your wall to or the words on our walls to lead and guide people to you, Father, and that people will be saved in tribulation because we have been obedient and left your legacy behind. God, thank you for the signs of the times. Thank you for, thank you, Lord, that we that when we see the rise of the Antichrist, we know you are coming close. Hallelujah, Jesus, and Lord. I ask that you will also anoint all of my worldly possessions, my clothes, my shoes, my hair ties, my blankets, my pillows, my shampoo, my conditioner, my body wash. Lord, I ask that it will come in a great, my car, my home, everything, Lord, that, that you will just anoint it and use it for your glory and use it for the people who find you in tribulation and use it to keep them safe and provide their needs, Lord. Lord, even though we will not be here, we can still be a part of bringing people to you. And Lord, I just thank you so much for that. Lord, just ask you to continue to lead and guide us and help us stay focused on you, Jesus. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming back. I can't wait. So I will link that video down in the description below for you. You guys, I'm ready to go. I'm ready, 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 ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go home with Jesus. Okay. Come down, come down, come down. Okay. Maybe I can't. All right. Bye, guys.